the Right Honourable the Lord Mayor of the City of London, Dr. Pownley, Dame Fiona, who used to be the Right Honourable Lord Mayor of the City of London, who was here with us three years ago. Welcome back. And welcome to the Lord Mayor, Mr. Consul General David Harris, Mr. William Hop Hopkinson, Deputy Ambassador. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and privilege for me to welcome you today at the Casablanca Stock Exchange. It is also a great pleasure, especially as this event is now becoming a truly long-standing tradition, since we welcomed three years ago Dame Fiona and three years before her predecessor. This is indeed the third time that we uh, welcome Lord Mayor of the City of London, an occasion which we highly commend, and we hope that such uh, meetings will continue in the future. Dr. Parmley, the Right Honourable Lord Mayor of the City, your presence among us is a clear indication that the City of London and Casablanca do certainly have a role to play together. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Salam Alaikum, uh, Sabah Al Khair. Uh, Karim, thank you very much for your very warm welcome to me and to my party today. Um, this is the second time in my life that I've had the, the privilege of opening a stock exchange, the last time in Karachi, where I hit a very large gong and the price went higher than it had ever been seen before. So let us keep our fingers crossed today. Uh, this is actually not only my first time in Morocco, it's my first time in Africa. And it's a great pleasure to be here to see with my own eyes this very, very special nation with whom we in the United Kingdom share deep and very broad links of culture, uh, of outlook, and as you rightly say, of history. Uh, the UK is proud to be one of your oldest allies with 800 years of diplomatic uh, contact, nearly as old as the mayoralty itself. You rightly say, I am number 689. Dame Fiona very famously was number 686. Um, and you might ask, how come the mayoralty is over 800 years old if I'm only number 689? And the answer is that some early Lord Mayors were rather greedy and kept the office to themselves for some time. Many of you will have heard of Dick Whittington, for example. We couldn't get it back off him after he'd got it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the City of London is an interdisciplinary global financial centre. Uh, the UK-based financial services industry is internationally owned, is internationally managed, and internationally staffed. It operates, as you rightly know, all over the world. And many financial businesses locate their MENA specialisms in London. Uh, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, and particularly Karim, thank you for your welcome today. Thank you for doing me the privilege of allowing me to open your stock exchange. And I think for the purposes of good practice, we ought to do it again, Karim. Thank you very much. <laughs> 